there. Is that too high? Is that too low? God, it takes ages, especially in this light. Um, it's so bright out here. I can't go over there where it's shady because Mark's in bed. So I'm here. Um, yeah, sometimes you just have to block someone. I had um, a couple of nights ago, um, and it's normally when I'm tired, and I just think, oh, for fuck's sake, there's somebody called Kevin who um, just kept poking, and people do sometimes, they just keep poking. And normally, you know, if it's just a one-off or a couple of times, I just ignore them or, or answer them. But this was just getting silly and I was getting drawn in yet again and I thought, no, I'm not doing that anymore. So I just blocked him. feels much better when you do that. And I'm thinking, I don't know why I'm so, um, what's the word? I don't like blocking people and I try not to block people um, or delete comments. I know because a lot of people sort of say that other people delete comments. Well, I try not to do that a lot because, it, you know, uh, um, it's not all life love and laughter on my channel so um i don't have to delete some of the negative comments to create something that isn't real um but sometimes you just have to block so i blocked and i felt a lot better uh today today is um i think it might be thursday i didn't check <laughs> i didn't check what day it was i think it's thursday we haven't got our car um the car we we took it in last night for, for it to be serviced today um and they give us a courtesy car to bring back and we come back and we've come back in a really old um renault clio and it's horrible and we hate not having our car because we don't want to go out and drive in another car it's just horrible we hate it so we won't be going anywhere today um I came across a um, a video last night of a young young Scottish guy called George somebody who um, it's he built a tiny house in Scotland or I mean the tiny house was there but he completely re rebuilt it or rebuilt the inside um, and he um, he made a video of the renovation of the tiny house um, and I'm not sure if it was this year um, but it was a ja in the January the video got about 58 views and in the February it got about 200 views and in March it got 6.2 million views how the f did that happen how um, it earned him 28,000 plus american dollars which is just astonishing um and he's since made um a video about how youtube paid for my house i mean he he couldn't have seen that coming it, it must have been such a shock to suddenly see all those views coming in i know for me the other day when i was over here in my nightdress um doing the the tale back to europe um vlog that went silly for me and it, it was like quite shocking to watch the views just pouring in because you don't know what it is that you've done or whether you've done anything you know what was it that caused it to do that but to go from january around 28 views to 6.2 million in um march is just unbelievable it's just incredible so well done him i'll put a link in my just in the description for that um i've just started reading um the last spike which um, at the moment it's quite dry, but then I suppose it would be um, because it's about the building of the Canadian Pacific Railway, um, which I have no knowledge of and um, was a bit shocked the other day because I was talking about it to Mark and there's a bit that you see as the, well not a bit, I mean there's a lot of it, but as I've watched on YouTube where the, the train goes through, um, you know, through mountains and these are just the tunnels you can see them hewn out of the of the rock and whereas when we go through tunnels we the tunnel's been made to look pretty hasn't it it's been 
um, the you know the rough rock has been covered with whatever they cover it some of these aren't it's just you just see this rough hewn hole that the train is going into it's astonishing and I was talking to him about that and I said I wonder how many people because this is really you know they're like on the edge of a mountain going round the side of a mountain I wonder how many people died and that and he said to me that there were thousands of Chinese workers working on the railway and I didn't know that and I thought and I said to him how did you know that because he knows so much stuff um and I think he said he's it's probably been in a uh, you know the old film or two that I can remember him watching a film I can't even remember what it was called now um and it was it was when I think back it was um set around the building of a railway and the and the the railway line arriving um but i've got a feeling that was in america not canada but but what it doesn't really matter does it but um and i'd like to see that again now so yeah i'm reading i'm reading this book because i'd like to have an idea of how uh, i'd like to know um what blood sweat and tears went into the building of the railway um i know they built it far more quickly than it was anticipated i think people had said you won't be able to do that in 10 years and i think they did it in just over four years which is pretty amazing isn't it so yeah so we're reading that um i talked to you about the blocking oh the hen um hens uh, um i had a look at the somebody mentioned that they noticed that one of the hens one of the pullets had got a much more pronounced comb and I had a, I held that last night and had a look at it with a torch, and um, there's, it, it, it could well be a, a, a cockerel. We'll see. Um, it's still not, it's not definitive. And when I looked back, of we bred Brahmas before, when I look back at um, things, a post I went back on Facebook because you can just do a search on your own profile, on Facebook, came across. Um, the picture the thumbnail is from a previous um from 2010 i think it was of the previous vlog um i i i have written there that you can't really tell with brahmas until about 16 weeks well these are i think about 12 or 13 weeks old so it might all become clear in the next two or three weeks we'll see um yeah somebody uh, mentioned that the scraggy hen should be at the bottom of the pecking order and that but she's really scraggy because she was an ex um factory hen um so by the time she and her two other mates came to us they were in such a state unbelievable hardly any feathers it was it was cold it was i think it was february um, hardly any, any feathers, very listless, didn't really know what to do, had no idea about how to scratch, just listless, you know, with floppy combs and um, and she's the last one and I think she's going through a molt which is why she looks even worse, her tail is a real mess and I think it's because she's molting, I don't think, I don't think she's at the end of her life. Um, but she is really scraggy, but she is top of the pecking order. Uh, because she's been here longer than everybody else so this is her domain we're top of the pecking order if you ignore the cockerel but he doesn't do um pecking order stuff really he 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 clucks around like a mother hen but you don't see him having a go at anybody or chasing anybody whereas the girls will you know have a go so um yeah so yes um another few weeks it might all become clear but it could be that um, that one's a cockerel the, the thing about them is is that a day apart because they were hatched a day apart and um oh, oh an itch they were hatched a day apart and um that really shows it, it shocks me really that there's a slight difference in their size and obviously you know one day makes a big difference even now you'd think that that would have all caught up and you wouldn't notice it but you can see it that you know they're a day apart so it's going to be another um hot day it's going to be um, i think 37 today tomorrow is going to be the 
hottest day I think or maybe Saturday um, and on Sunday we've got storms forecast 70% chance of rain that would be amazing and I'm hoping that they have also the same forecast in the Gironde which is on fire again it's burning again um, the fire um, that started there in July is, is reignited and they, the, the firemen are saying you know until we get rain we're just not ever going to be able to put it out because what happens is it smoulders underground um, thousands of people have been evacuated down there and um, it's very worrying because it's the wind's dropped a bit now it's not quite as windy but yesterday um, was quite gusty quite windy um, I'm quite pleased I'm just looking up there at the the girouette and she's pointing east so I'm quite pleased that the breeze is still coming from the east well, I didn't do any watering out here none of the pots got watered yesterday I must do them tonight if I've got enough water I think we have we've got a watering can up in the bathroom so that can come down I've been filling a watering can in the bathroom downstairs and every little bit of water I have in the bowl when I'm cooking in the kitchen goes out to the pots on the patio at the back um, yesterday I was making tzatziki and um, I even took the, the the water from the cucumber out and poured that onto a plant because it's just you know it's good it, it's like it's water and, and I, you can't afford to can't afford to waste it um, oh so I I haven't looked at this I haven't looked at this vlog video whatever you want to call it um, because I can't I can't it it's painful to watch but there's a couple down in Spain um, renovating a big house and they've got cisterns in the back I think they've got two cisterns on their land at the back and apparently um, one of the couple was talking about getting rid of them well the underground cisterns are are just so important in places that are dry you know for storing your water you know at some point i wondered whether there was an underground system here because this bit that i'm standing on which is in front of this wall and you know where we sit with the umbrellas um often growing the stuff growing here um when there is when it is growing and when it's green and when we have rain and that is let it's not as lush here and I often wonder whether there's a cistern under here, but I think it would be marked on the um, the cadastre, and it isn't. So there is, but to have a, an underground cistern that, that that stores water is, and why would you get rid of it? It's not doing you any harm under there, I don't think. There's no point in getting rid of it. But anyway, I saw that and thought, how fucking stupid. Um, but can't go and actually look. I, can, I'm, I so this is hearsay. Um, I can't look, I can't bear it, it's painful to watch, so um, I won't be doing that, but yeah, I, you know, it would be really good to have a system, but we don't have one. Um, down the end of the garden is that big, um, I can't remember what they're called in French now, the big concrete block that has, was uh, a water container, um, and there would have been a gutter running off that big um, building down the bottom there. Like a, you know a gutter draining down into it to take water to it and um but i don't know how you access the water that's in it because the tap's practically on the ground really weird i mean back when we used um back when we had a potager down there and we did connect um drip drip feed hose to the tap maybe that's what it was for and we, we did that because all of that's lost it gets buried it got you know the the ground is constantly moving and it got it's got buried and and we're not growing anything but nettles down there anyway now so um yeah i don't know how that i mean we could reinstate the tank in terms of putting a gutter down to it, it might be worth thinking about but it's actually accessing the water in it and and the water in it it's going to be really brackish isn't it whatever's in there god knows what's in there and you can't you'd have to climb a ladder get a torch and look down into it to see what it is and i can't see us doing that not till we get so bad that we have to look to other sources of drinking water but i hope that it's not going to come to that i really do i heard something on the news yesterday from the uk um and somebody used the term um poverty pandemic 
and I'm thinking that is that is so right that you know that's what's ha I mean it has been happening it's like this isn't new but it's going to be far far worse and and it's a, a pandemic and um there's no vaccination for it there's no there's no vaccination for it apart from you know a great great massive injection of money so yeah that was a bit off wasn't it bit of a night's move there but i was just remembering it as i was talking um that's it for now um i'll put links in for um the last spike and the tiny house vlogs and uh leave you with that a plus <laughs>